live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2019. Brought to you by Five9. Hello from Orlando, Florida. Lisa Martin with Stu Miniman. The Cube has been here at Enterprise Connect 2019 in the booth of our gracious host, Five9, for the last three days. Stu, this event is our first time being live here on the Cube. Your first time here, mine as well, individually. Massive event that has transformed a lot. 6,500 attendees, their biggest ever. Well, 140 vendors in this expo hall. What an incredible week. We've had the opportunity to talk to uh, so many people, can't even keep track, but this enterprise communication and collaboration space is really, really, really hot. Yeah, Lisa, uh, I definitely learned a lot and had a good time, and really uh, always a pleasure to be hosting with you. Uh, I feel I am better educated as a consumer now after having gone, to, gone through this, and I wish as a consumer, I actually knew before I was making some choices on some of the brands, whether or not they had some of the technologies behind us that we heard about here, because we've all had some challenging you know, interactions with, you know, whether it be you know, chats, websites, emails, or trying to call in and you know, hopefully getting to that live person. You know, I look at my career and the ebb and flow of changes that have happened from the call center to the contact center. Um, I've always had some empathy. I, I started out in a call center, my first job out of college. Uh, but you know, there should be no excuse for a company not to be able to have a good customer experience if they're leveraging the technologies and the solutions that are available today, especially a lot of those powered by the cloud. Absolutely, it's table stakes. I agree with you, I definitely feel reset as a consumer, my perspectives, um, and even understanding the fact that like Five9 here, we are in their booth talking about the intelligent contact center. They have five billion recorded customer conversations a year, and I never thought when I'm calling in, when, they, when you hear that it's going to be recorded, we just expect that, but how a company like Five9 can enable them to actually start to leverage the power of AI and cloud to harness that dark data so that, to your point, the customer experience is ideal because as consumers, we have so much choice. Yeah, so you know, we, we've been talking for a number of years on theCUBE about you know, companies need to be data driven and still it's early days here in the enterprise communication space. Um, there is a proliferation of everything from the end devices. We just interviewed the CEO of Poly, you know, long history, Plantronics, Polycom, you know, I've got long history, understand a lot of those uh, technologies that they have. Uh, huddle rooms and whiteboards and digitization, uh, they're, they're all of these devices, and then, right, the software and the cloud and all of those pieces. Uh, you know, we use CRM in our business, and, you know, boy, there's place things that I'd love to be able to tap in, uh, even for, you know, a, a small company, and have talked to lots of companies as to how they can use these technologies, um, and it was really interesting, and we had a great user uh, discussion uh, today with Carfax, uh, really enjoyed that, always good to hear as to what they're doing, and the blurring of the line sometimes between unified computing and the contact center, and where, uh, right, putting that information into their agent's hands or into the salespeople's hands, or we talked to people on the marketing side and marketing clouds to put it in the marketing hands. So, you know, data we know is a huge differentiator, um, and I know when area that, that you were loving is CX was at the center of everything and the role of the agent and the customer is something we need to think about. What were your takeaways about that, Lisa? About that, great question. Initially, everything that you know, I was reading about this event and the, and the industry was all about everyone is talking about customer experience, CX. And when we had um, Blair Pleasant on with Michael Rose on Monday, the, uh, I think it was a customer satisfaction or service index that they did showed that companies are actually rating employee satisfaction lower than customer satisfaction. And I thought, but if, an, if I'm an employee and I'm an agent, and I'm on the phone or I'm in a chat or whatever channel dealing with what might be a disgruntled customer who probably has a really easy alternative to, to churn to, I, my experience needs to be good. I need to have the information, the right content at the right time, and be empowered to make a decision. So some of the conversations that we had started to show that really AX, agent experience, and CX are really blended together. They have to be, because to me they're mutually exclusive. And if, 
if that agent doesn't have the information that they need, doesn't, has to ask a consumer the same question that you've just repeated, the likelihood that that consumer will churn is very high. So the agent is one of those ones, I think, at the front lines that I honestly never really thought about it from that perspective of how critical they are to the business. Yeah, and when, when, when you dig in and say, okay, what is the life of an agent today? First of all, if I can give them a simpler interface, and that's something in both the unified communication and the contact center, if I can do that, and then where is their automation or the AI to help me do my job, to be able to critique myself and go in there rather than having you know, a manager yelling at you. There's some powerful stories we heard about that as to I can better myself and I'll probably be more, be more engaged and that should translate also into a better customer experience so we're not getting, I you know, love the example somebody gave, it's like you ever call there and they're like, ah, oh, my system's a little slow today or I can't get into this. It's like, you know, we don't want, as, as consumers, we never want to hear that and that's not a good experience. And uh, you know, the, what we heard is there really should be no excuse in today's day and age, uh, you know, it, the, the, that shouldn't be the issue. Absolutely. So we talked about the agent experience, customer experience. Some of the other users that we talked about on the program are, for example, Microsoft Teams did this really cool demo. We had Jace Moreno on the show on Monday showing this incredible power of internal Teams collaboration and communication and how connected companies can be across geographies, um, cultures, generations, so and that internal collaboration is another big piece of this show, that the, the power of cloud, the power of AI that companies are starting to harness is transformative for a business on every level. Yeah, it, it's, it's really, you know, I've, I've been to, when I go to a Microsoft show or a Google show or an Amazon show, ooh, look at the real time, uh, you know, things that are happening, global translation, uh, being able to see sentiment by AI of like what the face is. Uh, uh, certain shows you go to, they'll like, you can go up and they're like, you know, happy, sad, confused, you know, uh, things like that. So Microsoft gave a great demo. Let's see how long it takes for that really to diffuse out and be usable from businesses. We know the power of video. It's core at the center of what we do with Cube. Um, you know, we, we understand when it can you know, transcribe and translate. That, that's really powerful things that we're keeping an eye on and the cloud is definitely driving a lot of innovation and that's something that we heard over and over again is that you know, this show now in its 29th year and it's like you know, third life with a third different name, uh, you know, cloud has really infused a lot of energy, many new companies here and uh, therefore there's a nice robust ecosystem with you know, some blurring of the lines and some competition but for the most part if it's in the cloud a lot of times those integrations are happening behind the scenes, and I as a customer don't need to put it together with bailing wire and duct tape and zip ties, which kind of felt like we had to do things in the old day, and it was very fragile. Uh, it, it should be much better. We heard lots of them as to how CRM, especially like Salesforce integrates, um, and you know, for, from Microsoft and from many of the other players here, uh, they say that there is good commitment, there's good, good working agreement uh, with many of the companies, and absolutely from uh, our hosts here at Five9. We heard from a lot of their partners from the device and the software players as to how they all tie together seamlessly to make sure that their users have a good experience which leads to agent and customer experience ultimately. Absolutely, the partnership and the collaboration in this space was very palpable and it was great to have so much access to Five Nines partners. I think a couple of taglines I'll take away from this as a marketer is, is Zoom, we had Harry Mosley, the CIO of Zoom on this morning and his fireside chat this morning and with us later uh, earlier today he said, video is the new voice. We've also heard voice is sexy again. We've also heard it's you know, humans being augmented by machines, it's relationship based. So a lot of really interesting themes that all come together that I hope sort of dispel some of the concerns that, that either individuals or some business users have about AI taking over. It's this combination of different tools, but the human component, the empathy, is still absolutely critical. Yeah, and uh, we'll see AI will first be something that's internal to these companies. So Five Nines announced this week, uh, it's, it's the Five Nine, I believe Genius is the, the tool in there. It's helping make their agents, help them ramp up much faster, get the data they need, and it's, it's AI that's going to actually help infuse them so that they can react faster, and they're, they're super agents. Give them superpowers. Um, we, we, we heard from a number of people that external facing AI, uh, we're still a little bit early, and uh, everybody's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to see what some of the you know, early leading use cases will be for that. 
in the future. Well, Stu, it was been a great three days co-hosting theCUBE with you at Enterprise Connect 19. I cannot believe how much we've learned and how we've both sort of changed our perspective as consumers. Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, absolutely. Lisa, you know, so many of the things that we've been hearing for years about cloud and AI definitely translate here. Um, and we love uh, really documenting some of those industry transformations and pleasure as always to work with you on theCUBE. Likewise. For Stu Miniman, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE.